Hello. Um, I thought I'd do a quick video to show you all the postcards I have that I use as dividers for my A6 planners. Um, I never used to collect postcards. It's a very recent thing and it's purely because they are amazing as dividers for A6 planners. Um, also for senior size if you cut them down a bit um, to make tag out of the actual cards themselves. Um, so this is an A6 van der Speck Touch Me. It also works in the A6 Custom van der Specks and I think Gilio has an A6 size now so it works in there as well. Um, A6 I think is, or at least postcards, are 4x6 size. So um, four inches here, six inches there, and um, that's almost the same size as true A6. I think normal photographs also that size, although I haven't had a printed photo for years, so I don't know strictly off the top of my head, but I think that's the same size. So you could also use photographs as dividers, although they might be a bit flimsy and they may get damaged. First I'll show you what I've got in here at the moment, and then I'll show you my extras um, that I'm not using at the moment and the ones I just bought yesterday when I went to London. So I'll um, just add these to that pile as well. Um, this is the top one. I get most of my postcards either from Paper Chase, which is a fantastic stationery and um, cute things shop in the UK, or from museum gift shops. They're really great as well. I love this one. Meow do you do. Um, my old cat Chloe, who we recently lost, used to walk in the room and go, um, meow, which was her way of saying hello. My other cat comes in and goes, hello. So it's very similar. I like to think that they're saying hello. So meow do you do. And you might notice that obviously I've got the holes on the left side with the divider pointing to the right but I've also got holes on the right side now the reason for this is I feel like with dividers you pick up the tab and you turn that way so you would have the front of the divider decorated. If the divider is only decorated on one side, typically you'd have the front of the divider de decorated because that's just the normal way to do it. But if you are just picking up a tab, you are going to flip to the inside. So I want the inside to be decorated and the front not to be decorated because you don't flip, you don't do this, you don't try to find the tag and then find the back page of that section and flick there so you see the front of the divider you pick up the tab so that you flip to the inside of the section so I have punched both sides of the divider sometimes I have them the normal way round sometimes I have them so that when you pick up the tab you see the divider decorated side on the inside so when you flip to the first page of the section you see the divider so there you go. Um, yes, so um, second divider is this nice create your own story section. This is my notes section, so that sort of matches. These dividers can change depending on how I feel about them. I mean, in the future, create your own story might go to my journal or it might go to my calendar. It completely depends on how I feel. Organisation section. My mum bought me most of these um, postcards. I just asked her to just get me some because I was getting the A6 size. And it's the sentimental thing. If you get somebody that, um, you know, one of your loved ones to buy them for you, then each one has sentimental attachment for you. So, so she got me quite a few of these motivational ones. Believe you can and you're halfway there. And I think that's at a period when she was trying to encourage me to go back to university to do this course. So she was trying to motivate me. Um, the diary at the moment is this one. Here's another motivational one. Never stop trying to fulfill your dreams. It's got these pretty birds and flowers. And on the back it's also decorated. So 
So some of them are double sided and then some of them are just traditional um, postcards with the um, section on where you can write your address and the mess or the recipient's address and the message. This one is a pretty one with the Eiffel Tower. And I also have one right at the back here because uh, the, the the inserts get stuck under the rings so I often have a divider that either has a tab on it or like this pen loop that I pull to pull the inserts away from the rings when I'm closing it up and this one says rules are made to be broken I don't really agree with the slogan but I love the design and so that's what I've got in there at the moment and I'll show you my others and um, obviously I have limited number of sections but I have a lot of postcards so um, I will change them out as I feel like it yesterday I went to the Filofaxi meetup in London and Steve's wife Alison writes the Romanova series I've read two of the books so far I've got the third one but I haven't read it yet um, and every time he comes to a meetup he gives out these postcards and so I've got the first one and the second one I think they're at home and so here's the third one the fourth one and the box set postcards I like to put these in my sort of um, writing sections of my filofaxes and um, sort of say look here's somebody who's not always been a professional author she's worked hard and she's got to publishing her own books and she is now a fully fledged author and that's amazing and she's you know the wife of someone I know so I think that's absolutely amazing and I really like her books so they're cool I always like to pick them up when I go to a file of Axie meetup um, I've got some Christmas ones I haven't put these in any order so they will just randomly pop up but I change them out at Christmas so that's nice I think I have them all here I think I brought them all from home I might be missing some but um, let's jingle all the way paper chase I got this in paper chase on Saturday um, obviously my initial that's really cute I, I don't know why it's so cute but typefaces some people just really like them and I just really like this one and it's glittery I saw a book in paper chase which was um, you know those coloring books for adults it was that but it was typefaces I might mention that to Carrie actually because her son really likes typefaces I think um, this was a painting in the National Gallery I did get confused um, because the National Gallery and the National Portrait Gallery are right next to each other I went in both of them I only spent about an hour in each and um, I couldn't remember which one was which and the National Gallery confusingly has a lot of portraits as well so this is from the National Gallery and it is a self-portrait of a lady in a straw hat and I think she's absolutely beautiful I think she's really lovely um, I bought this from the cinema shop in Covent Garden cinema store um, here are the, all the <laughs> gift bags that the postcards came in I'm gonna do something in them with my uh, with them in my journal so that's um, Oh, what's his name? Martin something from The Hobbit. Bilbo. Martin Freeman. This, I was looking for Doctor Who um, postcards and they didn't have many. They had this one, which is the um, the message that is on the front of old police phone boxes. Um, obviously, the TARDIS is a phone box. I'm not sure this is what the actual TARDIS says. Um, I haven't looked that closely at it but um, I think the reason why they had this one is because if they had one of the actual TARDIS they'd have to pay copyright or something whereas this is just like it could be taken from any old phone box and it doesn't have anything on the back that says Doctor Who they had two other Doctor Who ones but they were just photos of old Doctor Who's and I didn't like them because I'm a new Doctor Who girl so um, I didn't get them here is a lady who was painted by uh, Goya? Yeah, Francisco de Goya. I didn't go in the actual exhibition because I didn't have time, but I went in the room where this painting is and I think she's absolutely gorgeous. She's lovely. Um, 
I love this one. She's so cute. I got it from a little sort of card shop, um, wrapping paper type shop in Covent Garden. And I got this one from the same shop as well. All the secrets of the world are contained in books. And that is a quote from Lemony Snicket, which I've never read. And I saw the film, but I didn't like it. But I love the quote and I like the design as well. Here's a doggy who is made from um, sections of books. My camera is not going to focus, but it's um, like sections of novels, and then I think there might be the odd um, magazine or newspaper article there too. And he looks like my doggy, who's an Airedale Terrier and has those sort of markings. Um, although that may be a Lakeland or somewhere. Uh, another Christmas one. Benedict Cumberbatch, and I've got another Sherlock one in there somewhere. Mum got them for me from the cinema shop in Covent Garden uh, last year yeah last October um, I do like the programme Sherlock but I'm not sure that I'm going to actually put these in my planner because I'm not like really really I don't want to carry around a picture of Benedict Cumberbatch because I'm not that like obsessed with him or anything I love the programme but Here's an ancient Egyptian tomb model of a boat with the lovely sailors. I got this from the Ashmolean in Oxford, which is a museum. It's a lovely museum. And I bought this before I went to the Pitt Rivers. And to be honest, if I'd have gone to the Pitt Rivers first, I would have bought their version, which is more... I prefer that one. Um, two models, ancient Egyptian two models, are my favourite things from ancient Egypt. Oh, there's the other Sherlock. Um, I went to the Imperial War Museum North in Manchester um, last week. Gosh, that felt like ages ago, but time is going so fast here at uni. Um, I didn't like a lot of the postcards because they were very pro-war and I'm a pacifist, but I liked this one. It's Make Do and Mend. Um, go through your wardrobe, make do and mend. And my nan was in the Land Army during World War II, so I got this one in honour of her. This is from the Pitt Rivers Museum. It's um, a load of very, very beautiful little perfume bottles. They um, they are made from aventurine, which is a type of glass flecked with sparkling metallic particles that protects perfume from deterioration through exposure to light. And they're from 19th century Venice. And I think they are so beautiful. And here's another one from the Imperial War Museum. Um, I just like the pictures and of all of the ones they had about World War Two, I like the ones that sort of more of the home front and I love this one because it's basically my food philosophy except for the eat less week thing. I'm like, no, I need my bread. Um, so food, buy it with thought, cook it with care, use less wheat and meat, serve just enough and use what is left. Don't waste it. I like that. And here's another one. The reason I got this one was A because it's beautiful, B because it's got little sphinx and the pyramids, and C because it's after World War One. I. I didn't want to get one that was a propaganda poster from during the wars because so many people died during World War One. It was just horrific and the the propaganda posters, the propaganda songs and and poems that were just made just literally lured people to their deaths and it's just horrible to think about it I don't want to think about all those poor people that died while just flicking through my planner every day so I got one that was after the war um, you cannot be a man of the world unless you see the world so <laughs> it's basically join the army and travel around the world for nothing which I guess between World War One and World War Two was fairly safe after World War One had ended. Here's another one from the Pit Rivers, which is old labels, old museum labels from the original accessions of a lot of objects. So we've got very, very old ones there. Um, they're all in the old curator's handwriting and they're ri original and the objects in the Pitt Rivers, if you've never been to the Pitt Rivers Museum, it's amazing. The objects 
they've still got these labels on which are historical objects in themselves so I think it's it's really sorry the camera stopped recording um it's really cool to have that in my planner I might use that in like an actual section for university stuff this is from the Ashmolean it's the scorpion mace head which if you know anything about ancient Egypt is an incredibly important pre-dynastic object another Christmas one it can be read from any way up and I like putting these ones in at the start of December. I'm not one of these people who starts Christmas in November. I can't do that because I just don't want to get sick of Christmas before it's fully underway. Um, another Christmas one. Another Christmas one. Official mince pie testers. And another Christmas one. Fairy Christmas. Smile. Now I have seen the opposite of this where it's got the flower in the background and the word is white but I haven't got that one yet ah this is my favourite it's the black cat poster um, from a French um, exhibition thing I'm just comparing it with the poster I have on my wall which is the same but I've just realised this has got more writing on it so I'll have to compare them it's very cool and on the back I've got another one which is really really cute and it's a bit annoying because where I punched it went through some of the words if I could I would send you a bag of wishes a princess gown a moonbeam necklace a glittering crown some angel wings a party tea a fairy f and fairy friends to dance with glee my mum thinks that I'm a fairy so um she bought me them uh hello you this is a lovely stiff one that goes really well at the back of my planner to stop the pages from going under the rings <laughs> chocolate is the answer who cares what the question is I haven't put that one in my planner yet anyone that you see that doesn't have holes in it i haven't used in my planner yet and she decided to start living the life she imagined that's another one of those motivational ones and the beautiful butterfly so there we go millions millions and millions of dividers and literally all you have to do is punch them and put on a tab or um, if you're using them in like a senior um, insert so the slightly slightly narrower than a6 or the Franklin Kofi pocket um, you what you could do is um, cut a tab out of this itself and just trim down the edge now you will be cutting off some of the picture if it goes right up until the edge like this but that's up to you because you could just stick a tag on the side a tab um, you could also use them in Filofax personal size or the equivalent in the other brands um, they will be slightly wider but then again if you cut the tab out it will make it narrower and they'll be very useful so there you go and they all cost about 70p each and sometimes you get deals on them like six for three pound or something it's really good i love them okay thank you for watching bye